Hello and welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Casey and I make Christian faith and lifestyle content. And in today's video, we're gonna be answering the question, what is it really like to follow Jesus? So I shared my full story in my testimony video, but Cliff Notes is that I grew up in a Christian home. I prayed to give my life to the Lord at nine. And then it really wasn't until the end of high school that I started to take my faith seriously. And I started to truly pursue Jesus. Jesus. And so I've been following Jesus for over 20 years, which is by far the majority of my life. So if you have ever wondered, what is it really like to follow Jesus? I'm going to share with you something I wrote a while back as I was reflecting on my own experiences in following Jesus. And because it was originally in the written format or the written word, but I wanted to share it here in a video, I'm going to go ahead and read it in sort of a spoken word style. So we're going to get into that in just a second before we do if you haven't already please be sure to subscribe to my channel that is a huge way that you can help to support my channel and then give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful or encouraging what it's really like to follow jesus in this life of following jesus i have found that the more i grow to know him the more he grows me into the person he always intended me to be he carefully exposes new layers of my heart one at a time. It could be a layer needing cleansing or healing or shifting or a layer believing a lie that needs to be told the truth. The work he does once he exposes doesn't feel good, but it feels right. Like something out of alignment deep down is being shifted into its proper place. He's never surprised by what he finds and he's never frantic or rushed in fixing it. He simply goes about his work faithfully. He earnestly leads me step by step into the purposes he has for me. He asks me to step out when it would feel a whole lot safer to blend in. So I step out and slowly over time, I start to overcome my fear. Just as I start to think, okay, I can do this, he calls me to step out again. He calls me to expand into who I was created to be, Jesus, isn't one for comfort zones. He lovingly corrects me when the affections of my heart get twisted or when my hands start to hold something too tightly because he knows that even blessings can become burdens when I give them too much power. His correction doesn't feel like guilt or condemnation. It feels like freedom. Like I'm gently being turned away from what wasn't working and shown a better way. Following Jesus isn't comfortable, safe, or easy, but the good news is I wasn't created for comfortable, safe, or easy. I was created to glorify God. I was created for rich meaning and fulfillment. I was created to feel the soul satisfaction of living set ablaze with purpose. I was created to be known in the deepest parts of my heart and wholly loved. I was created to experience ever-increasing wholeness, beauty, freedom, and transformation into the likeness of God. And in this life of following Jesus, that's exactly what I have found. If you are a follower of Jesus, I pray that this resonates with your heart in a way that encourages you to pursue him more. And I would love to hear from you down in the comments. If you had to pick one word to describe what it is like to follow Jesus, what it is really like, I would love to hear what that word is down in a comment below, and I'm gonna be sharing mine in a pinned comment as well. And if you are not a follower of Jesus, I encourage you to watch this video I'm gonna have linked above where I share what the gospel is and if you have any questions about what it means to follow Jesus, leave them down in the comments below and I'll see if I can maybe make a video answering them or direct you to a video I've already created. I hope that you found this video encouraging. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.